Today I'm showing you how to do a wire transfer with Chase Online Banking. It is super simple. As you can see, this is my Chase account. All you need to do is hit pay and transfer. After you hit that, you have four options to choose from. So I've used mainly the Zelle option before, but wires and global transfers really helps with business oriented stuff. But keep in mind, there is a standard fee from zero to $40. It just depends and it'll tell you beforehand. The delivery time is one to five business days. So if you don't like the speed of it, uh, it's kind of the best option you have. I guess you could try ACH, but it really just depends on what you're using it for. And keep in mind that wire transfers have a $50,000 limit. So if you're trying to send over $100,000, it gets kind of tricky or you'll have to do it in multiple wire transfers. But you need two things. One, you need to add a recipient, AKA the person you're sending it to. And then you need to hit schedule wire. So for in this case, we're just showing how to actually transfer money. So for that, we need to hit schedule wire. And as you can see, there are two options, either one domestic, which is you sending it to another person in the US or international in the case that it's being sent to someone else. So as you can see, it takes a little longer. Keep that in mind. And it uses other things as well. And there are international fees, so be careful of that. But for my case, I usually only ever send it to US. So this is the one I would use. And this honestly takes like one business day. So it's super quick and super fast. So as you can see at the bottom, it does require you to add a recipient, which literally just means the person you're sending it to. And so for me, all you need to do is click this, then it'll let you set the money that you want to transfer and then send it over. That is literally it. It is super simple, super easy. And I'm glad they have a system like this. Subscribe if this helped.